Just watching it and just knowing that it's all coming to an end, 20 years of hits, it's just crazy. No, I said it wasn't funny. I just like, <laughs> that was traumatic. <laughs> it appears that Diddy's two sons, Justin and Christian Combs, don't want to suffer the reputation loss like their daddy. And apparently, they are more than happy to expose his alleged manipulations. In case you missed the big news, both Justin and Christian were implicated in a lawsuit against Diddy. According to the accuser, producer Lil Rod, they were complicit in Diddy's actions and kept everything under wraps. So, with the public backlash approaching, these two are finally speaking out about their involvement in the recent controversy surrounding the music mogul. And guess what? There are whispers that Diddy may have manipulated them into compliance. Reports indicate that Diddy had been hosting these extravagant parties since Justin and Christian were young, and they spent a significant amount of time with him learning to live his lifestyle. You know, like I said, my lifestyle sometimes get rough. The legal trouble for Diddy doesn't seem to stop. While the storm surrounding horrible accusations of him mistreating women seems to have calmed down, BAM! Another lawsuit has been filed against him. A producer named Rodney Jones, who worked with Puffy on his recent album, shared many cases of mistreatment and disturbing behavior during his time working with Diddy. Rodney claims he witnessed and participated in concerning incidents, but was too afraid to go to the police because his boss had powerful connections. Mr. Jones was terrified of Mr. Combs. He felt like he could not tell him no. Mr. Combs consistently made it clear that he has immense power in the music industry and with law enforcement. Rodney further alleged that Diddy confessed to various indiscretions, including affairs with other celebrities and manipulation tactics to coerce individuals into compliance. In a surprising twist, he also implicated Diddy's own sons in the scandal, claiming they were fully aware of their father's actions and even willingly participated in them. That's the truth, and nobody feels sorry for him. Do not feel sorry for him. According to Rodney, he witnessed both Justin and Christian engaging in inappropriate behavior with women at Diddy's parties. The emergence of these claims has prompted Diddy, Christian, and Justin to release statements denying any wrongdoing. Diddy's attorney dismisses the allegations, stating Lil Rod is nothing more than a liar who filed a 30 million lawsuit shamelessly looking for an undeserved payday, his reckless name dropping about events that are pure fiction and simply did not happen. Yet, it seems like Diddy's son are feeling the heat of it, and they have reportedly made their minds to prepare an independent statement, which is very different from what his dad wanted to say. It appears they are planning to snitch on their own father and even work with the authorities to clear their own names. Now you gotta really be putting out some heat, because everybody's trying to put out a lot of heat right now. It appears that we may soon witness some significant developments regarding the ongoing controversy involving Diddy's sons, Justin and Christian Combs, and the accusation the music mogul is facing right now. In the new complaint, filed on March 4, Lil Rod gave new details about one particular incident in Los Angeles, which he claimed involved Diddy and his son, Justin. And if follow the headlines, you know that this young man is familiar with trouble. Less than a year ago, he was arrested for DUI. But hey, there's no chance that you go to jail if you are the son of famous Sean Diddy Combs. Justin then avoided jail time in his DUI case and instead got three years of probation. Well, it doesn't look like he needs to be dragged into another trouble with the law, especially with the allegations surrounding his father. Now to the latest legal drama involving rapper and music mogul Sean Diddy Combs. While Diddy and his legal team are working overtime trying to dismiss the veracity of the claims against the Combs family, it looks like Lil Rod was actually speaking the truth. Although the music mogul's attorney stated that these accusations stem from desperation and the desire to seek financial gain, it's not like Diddy is rushing to counter sue his producer for defamatory statement. Christian and Justin are now in the same boat as their daddy, but here's the thing. They don't want his protection anymore, and insiders are claiming that they are making their own way out of this mess, insisting they have been the victims themselves. What kind of power who he doing or what he know that he could get that done? Christian, in particular, reportedly spent much of his time with Diddy after his mom model, Kim Porter, had mysteriously passed away. Given the circumstances, it's plausible that he was exposed to his father's lifestyle from a young age, potentially influencing his behavior. In an interview with Hot 97, the young man spoke about Diddy's influence over his life choices. There have been rumors circulating about Diddy's treatment of his sons in the past. Allegations suggest that Diddy may have used his influence to control their careers. In 2016, Christian signed a deal with his dad's label, Bad Boy announcing his desire to make music and follow his father's footsteps. Now, amidst the allegations, his claims may be perceived in a completely different light. But I'm gonna give you a special award, I'm gonna give you the future. According to insiders, Diddy had always had his sons close, and while the photos and names of Christian and Justin never circulated in any headlines, apparently, they had been spending a lot of time with the music mogul. The latest lawsuit by Lil Rod sheds light on the potential power dynamics at play within Diddy's circle and his sick influence over his sons. As one person commented, I am totally disgusted by the names mentioned. This is an island of demons. And another user added, Diddy sick, involving his sons in that mess. 
In Justin's case, there are hints that he may have felt coerced into certain illegal actions where Diddy even used his wealth and influence to cover the traces of his son's involvement. I think Justin is the boy that could do it, if anybody. But here's the thing. Even with Ennis flying around his studio, Diddy's son couldn't escape the stories getting leaked. One concerning incident mentioned in Lil Rod's newest complaint involves Justin and a friend named g Dio, Justin and a friend named G during a studio session in California. As Rodney stated, the incident happened during a writers and producers camp organized by Diddy. The event was attended by notable figures, including Diddy himself, his son Justin, and a friend identified only as Mr. G, a tall 30-year-old African-American male the lawsuit narrates a tense evening where Diddy Justin and this Mr. G were engaged in a heated conversation that escalated and moved into a restroom. Next thing you know, pow, 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 shots fired. As Lil Rod tells in his complaint, moments after the trio went to the bathroom to discuss their arguments in a private environment, multiple gunshots were heard from inside the restroom. When Diddy and Justin exited, Rod allegedly found Mr. G shot on the bathroom floor, claiming that Diddy later instructed the producer to tell police that he had nothing to do with it. Mr. Combs gave strict instructions to inform the police that he had nothing to do with the shooting. He also forced Mr. Jones to lie to the police by telling them that G was shot standing outside the studio by a drive-by assailant. Now, this is not the first time when Diddy is involved in some shady shooting. And the witness's recollection of the shooting clashes with the official Los Angeles Police Department account and claims from Diddy and his representatives, his hip area. It seems like the music mogul truly believes he has the whole system under his thumb and he can get away with any crime. All them gnats, you know, they, they can't really touch me. Y'all, at the end of the day, y'all see and y'all know what it is. Rodney further alleged that the trigger was pulled either by Diddy or Justin, but both remained silent about the incident. Given that G was Justin's friend, it's likely that both Diddy and Justin reached out to him afterward, offering a substantial sum of money to keep quiet about the matter. Yet, no legal consequences followed for the comms. Neither Cian nor Justin were in the vicinity or even aware of what had occurred until afterwards. So I don't think either of them were interviewed by police. But here's the most troubling part. This part of the story is just the beginning, and Lil Rod's claims actually paint a more horrible picture, including Justin soliciting Diddy into luring innocent girls to the parties. Now, his fatherly duties are being questioned big time. My position on him, he was never a father figure. It's apparent that Diddy has ensnared his sons in his troubling lifestyle, but his excessive confidence blinded him from seeing they could all face consequences together. There's now even talk about the potential trauma Christian and Justin may have endured due to their father's alleged behavior. Many people just can't believe that these two young men were writing in all crimes with their daddy willingly, and the internet is processing the potential effects of this mess after the lawsuits hit the headlines. As one person commented, I am not shocked hearing these because that person is the devil and he will bring everyone around him to hell with him. And another user added, I think these kids were manipulated to do this because someone had to them. Well, it seems like even Diddy's kids don't want to stay close in the middle of this drama and they are happy to snitch on the man who raised them. But folks, what do you think about all this? Do you believe Diddy manipulated his sons into the situation? And what are their roles in the unfolding events surrounding the music mogul's downfall? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to check my other videos. 